In this lecture, what I want to do is I want to show you how to take a frequency distribution table and construct using Microsoft Excel both a pie chart and then a bar chart. So in this example here, I have um, a group of 20, 20 individuals and I asked them, hey, who is your favorite New York football team? And six of the 20 said the Jets, nine of the 20 said the Giants, and five of the 20 said neither. You know, they're, they're Patriots or Buffalo fans. Who knows? Okay. So what we want to first do is construct a um, pie chart of this. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to highlight in Excel, okay, the Jets, Giants, neither, and then the counts of each, the frequency of each. Then in Excel, you know, you might have been at the home to start. You're going to click on the insert right here, insert. And then what you can do is there's all these charts here, but I always click on recommended charts. And right off the bat, you can see what they recommend from the data. So you can even click on all charts and, and find pi. And then you can just click on it right here and hit OK. And it will put the chart right there for you to see. So this is fave New York football team. And you can see right here, it, it's telling you, OK, the blue is the Jets, orange is the Giants, and gray is the neither. Now you can click on this. So if you click in here, you can right click and you can click add data labels and it'll add the frequencies. Or when you click in here, you can click format data labels. And over here you can click to show things like the percentage. You can remove the values, however you want to do this. And right there very quickly, Microsoft Excel constructed your pie chart for you. All right, now let's do a bar chart. Again, select all the classes and their frequencies. Click Insert, Recommended Charts. And you see right here they have the part, the um, bar chart for you. Or you can click under uh, All Charts, and they call Bar Charts Column. So you can see, oh, do I like this one? Do I like this one? I think I like this one here. And I'm just going to move this down. And again, I'm just going to copy the same title. And right there, you can see it constructed very, very quickly a bar chart of the frequency table. So Microsoft Excel does this for you very, very easily. And it's a, and it's a great tool to have. And just to recap, you highlight the data that you want, the class and the frequencies. You hit Insert. And then you can fool around with this yourself and look at all the different charts that you have. But I always recommend clicking on recommended charts and it shows you some charts for you to, based on the data that you have. 